And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Frostbite for our first deck of the day. Y'all know that this is my favorite deck to play. Um, a deck that I've, I've been doing really well with, and I've been playing it off stream also and doing well with it still. Just really efficient. The, the thing that makes this deck so good, I think, is Elixir of Iron and Brittle Steel. Both these one mana cards are just so efficient. I guess that's the word I already said, but that is the word to describe them at, uh, you know, being able to either keep one of your things alive for only one spell mana or remove one of their things usually for one spell mana. Um, yeah, so I, this is a deck that I've been kind of recommending and, uh, this is my favorite rank up deck. And so I feel like we should probably play this, you know, like twice a week or so. And, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So, or at least, you know, it was like four days ago, last time we played it and I want to play it again. So here we go. Um, yeah, our core of our deck is just really, really nice. Legion Drummer, Ice Veil Archer, Trifarian Glory Seeker, Rhymefang Wolf, Ash. Just all really good cards for the mana cost. Last format, this kind of deck wasn't as good because there was a lot more control in the format. And um, it can be rough playing against control when you have cards like Harsh Winds, Caught in the Cold, Brittle Steel. Like you have a lot of, I guess Caught in the Cold wasn't in the, the previous format. Um, but uh, a lot of Frostbite cards against control decks don't really matter. And so you, your hand can get really clunky and, and can just get to be a bunch of cards that don't do very much. But right now, there's a lot more aggro and a lot more mid-range in the format, which really makes these, this Frostbite and Challenger stuff in a better position. Plus, we got this brand new champion, Sejuani, that's very powerful for our top end. We never level up Sejuani, and that, that doesn't matter. We're just playing a 5-mana, or sorry, a 6-mana, 5-6 Overwhelm that also has the, the Frostbite and Vulnerable as well and that's just a, a very good card especially sometimes we get to pump it up with the help of Averroes and Hearthguard or Omen Hawk. All right but let's let's give it a try so it's basically named Sejuani Frostbite because I uh, played this deck the very first day the new set was out and uh, you know we had Sejuani's in it so I want to name it that but it's really you know this is an Ash deck this is a Frostbite deck that's uh, been around for a while but is now in a better position than it ever has been. So here we go. Let's see how we do. We're going to be playing it. So we're playing four decks today. We're going to be playing um, two returning decks, this one and then Yasuo Swain, another deck that I was uh, pleasantly surprised with whenever we played it the last time. And I think that was because of having more mid range in the format. And then we're going to try out two brand new decks. We're going to try Lee Sin for the very first time. I uh, got those ones now, you know, like we um, got those yesterday. Hey Beast, good afternoon. Uh, so we'll be trying to lease in with Vi in, in the, the Levi control deck that's uh, popular from the Mobile Addicts website. Um, I'm gonna get rid of both Bjergs and give this a try. And then um, Lucian Draven Aggro that I'm also pretty excited about that um, I think can, can be a, a good aggro deck that goes a little bit bigger than like the burn decks but still under the demacia decks i think it's in a good spot we'll, we'll give it a try hey king um <laughs> yeah you're actually the second person to to ask that um basically i just i like how um i like to try to look professional since i'm i mean i know i'm, I'm at my house but i'm really in in public being online and everything and i I like to, this is my job and everything, and I like to look professional, so that's why I wear ties. And I'm pretty comfortable wearing a tie. That's how I like to look. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I think not. Heard you're new in here. Swiftly now. Arguable that I should use the Cotton the Cold, but I kind of I like having, but you know that would tap me out. I like having the Elixir of Iron and Brittle Steel like this kind of stuff. 
uh, to be able to respond with. This is the third time that I've uh, played the deck on stream, so um, it'd be 15. Alright, they got a couple Omen Hawk triggers. From the Savage so that's number four. So we attack with Ash, and that's number five. Um, so our Ash should level up. A sound. Avarosa, guide me. We're going to try to keep it where they can't block with anything. Show them the might of Noxus. Still puts him down to zero. And GG's. Ash is pretty good. You saw like those one mana spells. I guess we really only cast the 1-1 one, one mana spell, didn't we? But it was still good. <laughs> uh, Mind Meld. Wizard says, I was thinking about the infinite draw meme deck that we played yesterday. I wonder, did you try Mind Meld? And I'm not sure. What is that card? Let's see. 8 mana slow spell this round. Set all allies power and health to the number of spells you've played this game. Um, hmm. Yeah, that could that could do that could be a good finishing card. Swain of Vladimir. I think I'll get rid of the harsh winds, but I don't know. I was definitely considering just keeping harsh winds, honestly. But we'll get rid of it. Like yeah, the drummer into the glory seeker. The world awaits. Forward. <laughs> this is kind of our ideal curve with um you know, Rhymping Wolf then Ash. Where then we attack with Ash. I, I do like that we're attacking turn four. Like that's that's a really good turn to attack. Attack with Ash, frostbite something, challenge it with the wolf. Make the Empire proud. Good puppy. <laughs> Strike at their foundations. I will skip the block. Pass. Just because I want the Elixir of Iron to protect Ash. Ash is the most important card. Just in our deck in general. Let's make it deep. Boo. Show them the might of Noxus. I mean, I don't really have to. Yeah, because you can check. So that that's the thing that's getting frostbitten. Throw it in front there. I don't really have to attack with the Legion Drummer, but that's yeah, fine. Cool. Good thing I didn't just block an Elixir of Iron last turn. You guys take a Mystic Shot and kill their Salesman. That worked out pretty well. Alright, and then we're going to be 
level... Uh, I guess we're not going to be leveling up Ash next turn. Oh, let's see. If I play Legion Drummer, we can. Yeah. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Uh, 12, 13, 14, plus this uh, level up 15. Could go for lethal if they have... Basically, if they don't play anything. Or if they play if they play one creature. Let's see. And I'd have Elixir of Iron Protection. Alright, I think we're going to go for it. Oh, I guess I gotta do some blocking. I don't want to block though. Man, I guess we have to do some blocking. Ugh. All right, all right. Gosh, it only keeps me down to three. Uh, I I shouldn't have played this Legion drum. I should have just passed and harsh winded. Basically, the the card I'm worried about is the three mana deal three to uh, both things like deal three card. Yeah, I, so I I messed this up. No down. All right, we can't. We just can't go that low. All right, well, I messed, I messed this up. I should have just passed and, and had harsh wins, and my life would have been much, much better. I need just a moment. Won't find better this Jeez. Salesmen are really annoying. Really wish I could have redone that previous turn. I thought too much about killing my opponent and not enough about staying alive. <laughs> he says it's crazy. I watched. Um, like they're gonna block anyway. Um, yeah, there's there's a link to the deck right there, Cedric. Um, and in there, on the top right-hand corner, is the code. I will also copy it for you, though. There you go. Um, let's see. But B said, yeah, so it's crazy. I watched the VODs back last night. And I missed so much from the original stream in your play. You're actually insane. Keep up the great games. Aw, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Beast. Thank you. you must be I do that, too. You, must you know, whenever I... Um, Whenever I uh, go back and, and replay games, you know, if I if I watch them after I play them, I I definitely miss a like I see a lot that I miss also. Yeah, and now I just died. Darn. Well, first loss ever with this deck, and that was me really taking a, a really bad turn. And that's why. So I really like about this game. Like, there's a lot of, a lot of skill with this game. Um, take one bad turn, and uh, it can cost you. Be up, GGS. Opponent played well. Good game.
should have like right when they played Vladimir, I needed to just hold up harsh winds. If I do that, I think I win that game. Nautilus Maokai. This may be a tough matchup, we'll see. Keep Bjerg. I really want to find Ash, and Bjerg does a good job drawing Ash most of the time. And I already had something to do on turn one and turn two, even though this isn't the best turn two card. Uh, yeah, recommendations for playing this deck. Um, you know, finding Ash is usually pretty important. But then keeping, I usually like keeping the one mana spells. Um, you know, Elixir, Brittle Steel. Unless, you know, if, if they're playing like a, a control deck though, don't keep any Frostbite cards whatsoever against control deck. Never keep any of those. But then besides that, the, the two, like, you know, Rhymefang Wolf and Legion Drummer and Glory Seeker, those are the cards to prioritize in the opener. Um, and not the four and five mana cards as much. This has not been ideal. Drawing Brittle Steel, Brittle Steel, Brittle Steel. Those were our last three draw steps. Arguably the worst possible card in our deck against Sea Monsters, especially with them being pumped up. Brittle Steel doesn't do very much. So arguably the absolute worst three cards to draw. Um... Okay, Ash. I'm gonna need a lot of help. I'm gonna need a lot of help. How do we want to do this? So we'll gain two life with a thorny toad. When it dies. Really wish I had other cards besides these brittle steels. I am not liking them at all. I can brittle steal this thing for a little bit though, since I blocked it the the three one. Oh no, ruination. And vengeance. We're going to start wasting these brittle steels. And I think I'd rather use two brittle steels than use a harsh winds. The 
<laughs> yeah, our hand was really bad. But we're still we're still trying over here. Deep yet? Almost. I'm two points away from killing them. Almost. Okay, like, you know, we can we can attack for twelve. Um We'll just kill this Maokai. My aim is true. I don't think this is necessarily a bad matchup for us. I think we we drew very bad. I think this is like turn three have nothing. Turn four just play the Bjerg. Um, after that, like not have not even have like Avros and Hearthguard even. Not have like anything. Like this is really as bad as it gets for us hand-wise. Mm. Maybe I should have Harsh Twins. I don't know. I feel like we're going to need that Harsh Twins. And yes, I should have Rhymefanged Wolf challenge first and then attacked after the wolf so that those things didn't... No, I guess those things those things would trigger Maokai anyway. It didn't matter. Yeah, that's right. Those, it didn't matter. I need some things that do damage. Something that does some damage. Yeah, I guess. Attacks for three. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. A true Fragonian welcome. That was good. Good draw. We'll see who feasts tonight. Oh wait, this goes by toughness. Not power. I need one more mana. Faster than my arrow? I think not. They play something else anyway, though. Hey, new bloco. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. Okay, let's see. Can make nothing block. Swiftly now. 
can. This isn't going to work out. They're too far ahead. This isn't going to work out. Yeah, that... I, I thought that we were going to be good until that Devour the Deep. Like, you know, like we had... We were going to be able to play all three of our Frostbite spells and Frostbite them and after we drew the 5-1 and attack for lethal. So if they would have just played like a normal... You know, like any any sea monster would have just been attacking for lethal. But now, like, they're still at 19. We're going to lose this. We were due for some losses with the deck, I suppose. One where I made the... I just made the wrong play on a turn. And it cost me in that game where we drew the worst card in our deck over and over and over. Like, literally. Our first three draws were Brittle Steel, Brittle Steel, Brittle Steel. And I just didn't have, didn't have any damage. Didn't have enough damage to, to kill them. Um, yeah, because, so the question is, why are pump spells so prominent in Legends of Runeterra but almost never played in MTG? Because the, the removal spells are overpowered in Magic. Like, the removal spells are not nearly as good in this game. Like, in, in Magic, it's, it's so much about threats and removal and not nearly as much about combat because of how good removal is. Removal is ridiculously good in Magic. And that's why. And so this game is much more about combat, which is a lot more strategic than point and click removal. And because it's more about combat, we have... Um, We have pump spells are better. Yeah. Yeah, I should play a Lux deck again. Shortly. Um, yeah, we should. We can play some more Lux. Yeah, Mage Seeker Lux is my favorite. Or Mage Seeker Thresh is my favorite Lux deck. And... I'm just going to leave the three mana open. Yeah, it's not like... It's not like, they, like, if I pass the turn, they don't just waste the mana. They get to just bank it. Um... But anyway, sorry, the Mage Seeker Thresh deck, you know, does get Unyielding Spirit, so that's um, very interesting. That's a very interesting card to have for that deck. Now. 
So the problem with playing Rhymefang Wolf... Pre-combat is that then maybe I don't get to safely attack with Ash, because let's say I do that, they play the Garen. I get to kill the Garen, but they get to block my Ash. And I don't really want them to block Ash. So I wanted to just attack right away where we got the Ash attack in and got that uh, got that in there. With justice and honor. Time to get rowdy. Prove your worth. The queen bleeds just like this one. They didn't have a chance to play Garen before attacks because I went straight to attacks. Repost has been a really bad card for me to see for a long time. That's nothing different. But yeah, if they had even like something like a Radiant Strike, any kind of pump spell, that'd be really bad for me. Wish we had some cheaper cards, you know, like that we could actually, you know, that we could double spell. But I don't, and I wish my opponent would stop playing Fiora. But they won't. survivors. So Juani's in the deck because it's really good. It's a six mana, five, six overwhelm that frostbites and gives and vulnerable as a creature. I would love to, to save Ryan Fang Wolf, but we just can't.
It's possible we win this right here. Why have we never sparred, Fiora? The outcome was obvious. It's possible we win this right here. Line up. With this crystal arrow. Looks like it. If that's not a removal spell. Ash is pretty busted. Nothing blocks. Boom. Alright, got that win. Two and two. That was a hard fought win right there. Ash is Ash and Crystal Arrow can pull you out of some rough spots. That's for sure. GG's. GG's. Alright, what do we got? We got Elise, Nautilus, Maokai. So, basically the kind of deck that was one of our losses. Let's get rid of this Brittle Steel this time. And I think I'm just going to get rid of both of those. And you know, I don't mind keeping Hearthguard. The thing, the thing that kind of makes me want to keep Brittle Steel this time is that they're playing Elise. I, mean, I can just trade, you know, like Glory Seeker for Elise, but that does kind of make me want to keep Vent. Yeah, get rid of that Devourer of Depths. That card is brutal. I don't like having no tricks whatsoever. Yeah, like, no spells whatsoever. Usually we would draw more spells, but, um... Yeah, we just didn't this game. Okay, there we go. Got a spell. Not bad. So what if we go Glory Seeker again... And we just play Assessor next turn and draw two. Oh, oh whoops! I meant to... <laughs> meant to pull that, whatever. They can, they can keep that. Good they didn't block. I was just starting to to talk and I was gonna say it would be, you know, uh we could have more upside if we would wait till after Hearthguard and Sejuani and, and cards like that and then Assessor later. Um but I liked how it fit on curve. Now we're only drawing one. We'll go ahead and wait. I don't think that playing Assessor over Rhyme Fang Wolf is worth one card. We'll wait. Yeah, I could have had that thing dead. Our strength is yours. That's just a waste of that brittle steel. They pass? Is it possibly worth it for me to just pass back? Very tempting to just pass back. It's like what what do I get? I get to attack with my 5-5 five five and they block with the 1-1, one one, so if I don't I don't pass, I get to kill that 1-1. One one. It's like whatever. It's a crappy spider. No, don't draw cards. See, then they would have just played this, like, post-combat.
Perfect. Draw four. All right, found a couple of tricks. A couple of treats. I guess we're gonna let them gain three life. Bring me chaos. If I go Legion Drummer and put it on the Glory Seeker, they don't gain three life, but then they still have this Abyssal Eye, and I have to, so I have to kill the Abyssal Eye. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. Gaining a lot of life. For glory. You are mine. I'll cut them apart. Face me. Today we fight as one. If they didn't do that Grasp the Undying play, my, my plan was for this one to challenge the 1-1 one, one Spiderling. That was my plan. I could still do that. Challenge like the 1-1 one, one or the 2-1 and then uh, do another Elixir of Iron to save it. Alright, so it looks like that's gonna let them get deeper. Eight mana, four, five, six, seven. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Knocked and ready. Gets the most power out. I don't have a challenger. We're going to attack weak to strong. I guess that means I'm quick attacking that thing. That doesn't matter. Mm. Fury of the North. It's more fun playing that than the Elixir of Iron. All right, so there we go. We went three and two, so we didn't continue our streak of five O's with the deck. Um, but yeah, I mean, I still, I still really like the deck. I mean, this, this is, this is a deck that I recommend to to craft and to rank up with. Um, I know it's not on other people's tier lists and stuff like that, but I really, really like it. One of my losses was completely my fault. Um, I think I could have won if I would have taken a different turn, if I would have held up Harsh Winds instead of casting a Legion Drummer on turn six right after they played Vladimir. 
I was too focused on it, uh, killing them my very next turn with Ash instead of surviving their attack with like the Vladimir triggers and, and everything. And so, um, you know, that was my bad. And then besides that, we had another game where we just drew very poorly. We drew <laughs> Brittle Steel, Brittle Steel, Brittle Steel as our first three draws against the deck where Brittle Steel wasn't good. So that's ju that just happens with uh, randomized card games that every once in a while that just, you know, that happens. All right, but yeah, uh, great deck here. Really recommend it. Um, and, you know, I want to keep keep playing it, keep giving people some, you know, being able to see the deck more um, besides just, you know, just like one video or, well, I get, you know, besides two videos, really. Um, you yeah, know, I'm still, I'm still using the same list from before and there's nothing that I want to change about this list. I like, uh, I like Babbling Beer. I like everything that we have going on here. Hearthguard, um, everything. I'd have to say that the, the card that is, if I had to change something, the card that's on the watch list more than anything else would be Caught in the Cold. Um... There's definitely been times where Caught in the Cold's looked good. Other times where it's been meh. I do really like how it levels up Ash even faster. And we have been leveling up Ash super fast. And I think that's really important. Because leveled up Ash is incredibly powerful. Um, and, uh, you know, Caught in, the, Caught in the Cold also. Like that Vulnerable. Really, like I've talked about that a couple of times. I really like that the Vulnerable. But, um, yeah. All right, so that's Sejuani Frostbite. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And I know there's quite a bit of y'all trying this deck out. Let me know how it's going. Leave those comments. Um, you know, and anything that you're struggling with or if, if you're doing real well with the deck, you know, all, the, all those kind of comments. Um, you know, I, I always like seeing that feedback. So thanks for leaving those. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Sejuani Frostbite, and I'll see you for the next video.